Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAB League Support. One of our friend requested to publish video about the important fields relevant to KONV, VBAK, VBAP, VBRK, and VBRP. So, as of now today. We will discuss about important fields that we should keep in our mind relevant to VBAK table only. And in upcoming classes, we can discuss about other tables one by one. So, coming to VBAK sales order header table, the first field that we should remember is that VBELN is a primary key and uh, which will be storing the sales order number here or quotation, inquiry, contract, anything. It's a key field basically. And in VBAP also, we can see the similar field, VBELN. And the second field is that ERDAT. So ERDAT will be holding the created on. The whenever the order is created, that date will be stored into ERDAT. And uh, the next one is ERZET. So ERZET will be holding the time when actually the document has been created, the time. So year DAT for a date, year ZDAT for time. And the, the coming to next one, next one is uh, ERNAM, ERNAM field. This will be, this field will indicate the person who created that document. The document might be an inquiry, order, quotation, anything. So it's created by. Next field is that VBTYP. So remember that I am giving the fields, the important fields, which I have come across during my experience. In my support project, uh, implementation project, I have used this many fields frequently. So I am filtering out those as an important field. But in other cases, in your project, you might get some other fields. Right? So it depends. So most of the times, the fields that I am explaining here will be the key for everyone. Mostly we will be using these fields only. Yeah, so coming to this VBTYP, it's a document category. So what kind of transaction this is? Is it, is it an order, inquiry, quotation, right? That will be described by this document category. C means order, B means quotation, A means inquiry, and like this. And H means returns, right? So VBTYP describes the document category. And the next one is that AU ART. So in AU ART, it will be storing the sales document type. So we have several sales document types are there, right? Order, cash sales, rush order, return order, create memo request, right? So those information will be stored inside this field AU ART. It's a sales document type field. Coming to the next one. It's an order reason that is AU GRU. So in the order, most of the times in the written order or uh, in written order basically we will be mentioned the order reason. Right? So those information will be stored in the field AU GRU. You see we have several order reasons are available. That information we can see in AU GRU field. And uh, next star, this is that one, delivery block field, LIFSK. So in LIFSK only, we can store the delivery block reasons will be stored inside in this field only, LIFSK. And coming to billing block, the field here is that FAK, SK. So LIFSK for uh, delivery block, FAK, SK for billing block. So in VBAK table, we see both delivery block field as well as billing block field. Coming to VBAP, in VBAP, we see only billing block only. Header level, we see both. But item level, we see only billing block only. And coming to schedule and table, VBEP, in VBEP, we see again, same, delivery block only. In VBEP, we don't see billing block. So delivery block in VBAK and VBEP, and billing block in VBAP and VBAK. 
right the next one is that net value field so here only we will be storing the net value of that order and one more is that document currency the field is w a e r k so let me open one order now so any of the order you see the document currency right so let me open one order now document currency order number is 1 you see the currency here inr this is nothing but the document currency and netwr this is the net value of that document and you see in order header level we have both delivery block and billing block and if i scroll down little bit i can see order reason okay might be here is not displayed that field is not displayed here but some sales document type can sales document types we might see that okay yeah you see net value and work is a document currency and uh, uh, three more important fields that we will be, we will be always using is that sales organization bkorz and btweg is for a distribution channel and spart spart for division is a key primarily we will be using most of the times this sales area field and uh, we should remember about sales office as well that is vk bur sales office will be stored in vk bur table and the next one is that business area that is gs ber and uh, here you see the document condition k n u m b so this is the document condition number which will be used to see the pricing information in KONV table. The link between pricing information between VBAK and KONV is KNUMV only. So if I execute this one, let me take the KNUMV value. You see, this is the document condition number. So now if I open one more screen. So if I give KONV and I need to copy the document condition number, if I give the document condition number here and execute, I don't see this one here. Okay, oh, forget about that, right? So I am in S4 on a system. I should use the table PRCD underscore elements. Okay, so if I give the document condition number here and execute, you see? The pricing information will be displayed here only with the help of the document condition number field that is KNUMB. This is one of the important field that we should remember. So whenever we, we want to retrieve the pricing information for any sales document type, then we need this KNUMB which needs to be passed to KONB table. And the next one is that V.2 v.2 is nothing but the requested delivery date if i open the order you see the request delivery date field here this is that nothing but v.2 v d a t u v.2 header level field and uh, you see a u t l f it is for complete delivery flag and in the order you see here so whenever this flag is enabled then system will create only one delivery for an order whenever all the items has been fully confirmed if any of the item is partially confirmed then still system won't create any delivery system it uh, system will wait until everything has to be confirmed once everything is confirmed then only system will try to create the delivery it's a one delivery only Complete delivery flag is enabled means system will create only one delivery that's full delivery no partial delivery is allowed here that's the meaning of this complete delivery flag the field is a u t l f right and you see the k a l s m so k a l s m is the important field which will be storing the pricing procedure so if i go to the header of the order you see here if 
pricing procedure RVWA01. So this information will be stored in KLSM only. The next one is VSBED. So VSBED is used to store the shipping condition information. The sales order header, the shipping tab, I see the shipping condition data. And uh, you see one more field FKARA, order relevant for billing type. And the customer reference field, we will be storing the BST. So BSTNK is the field where we will be storing the customer reference. You see here customer reference in order that will be stored in BSTNK. And coming to BSARK, this is nothing but purchase order type. In the order header, if I go to the order data tab, here we can enter the purchase order type. So what kind of an order it is? It's an email order or see we have some options here. Telephone, return, by telecommunication, something like this. So it will describe how the order has been entered into the system. And uh, one more important field is in VBK is that Kunnar sold to party information will be stored in this table only. And here you see customer group 1, customer group 2, customer group 3, customer group 4 and group 5. So from KVGR 1 to KVGR 5 will be stored in VBK table. Okay, let's focus on the important field relevant to credit management. If you see here credit control area, the field here is that KKBER, right? And the credit account, the payer account will be stored into the field KNKLI. And uh, this credit account group will be stored in GRUPP. And you see credit representative group is SBGRP and in case of automatic credit check we will be enabling the risk category as well so risk category will define the nature of the customer is it a high risk customer medium risk customer or low risk customer so those information will be stored in CTLPC you see we have defined some risk categories are here so the system will update to this field only so in case of any credit management related issues occurs then we should focus on this field credit controller KKBER credit, credit account is KNKLI right we should focus on this field and you see the release date so whenever credit release happens that time the date the credit, credit release date will be updated into the CMFRE field right and next to check based on the FD32 settings system will note down the date next time when the credit check will again happen on this order and coming to next date this is also the same thing only next check next date and come to credit value so the total net total value of an order so how much total value of an order will be updated into credit management will be recorded into the field AM TBL And you see the reference document number that is VGBEL and you see the customer tax classification tax K, from tax K1 to till tax K9. And coming to this uh, JDO NR assignment and uh, what else we have? Yeah, so this ZDO NR is used for account accounting and finance end. We will be using that field ZDO NR and XBLNR. You see, XBLNR is a reference basically. XBLNR and ZDO NR is an assignment.
so these are the important fields that i considered as an important but it may vary in your project okay in next session we will discuss about important fields in other table as well thank you friends we'll meet in the next video